So in terms of advice to our peers who want to implement early warning systems, I would say there are two key elements. The first is really enfranchising everybody to understand the importance of what's happening. It's natural for people to feel that part of their workflow is being replaced with the implementation of such a system. But when you really think through the importance of early warning detection and automation, you begin to see how it can ease clinical workflow and really free up clinicians' time to focus on the patient. The next thing I think that's really important is to focus on the issue of change management because it is instituting a practice change. And so really thinking through how to make clinicians on the, on the surgical ward or hospital ward level really be part of the decision-making process, give them an opportunity to think through the workflow that's involved and make suggestions for how to optimize it because every setting is a little bit different. Education has to be one of the top priority and you know I went and asked our um, our educators how are we educating on vital signs and the answer was you know we don't educate them. Is, is it hard to um, make uh, staff use it and to train them with it? No I think it's actually quite easy because one of the things uh, that is I think is quite special about the Guardian solution is that the workflow mirrors what people would normally do so they don't need to change an awful lot. But what we saw is a reduction of cardiac arrests by 80%. And for those patients who required intensive care, their chance to survive more than doubled. We measure guard results uh, for this project um, different ways. We took our vice presidents and they were down there talking to the associates and they loved it. They felt that they got their money back right then. It's sometimes you know, all the data cannot give you the picture, but going there and seeing for yourself, that is, the, I think, the best uh, data you can have.